Hey guys, Crypto Dad, and today I'm going to show you how to use the IOTA wallet. So let's get going. Okay, so I've done a couple of videos about IOTA and uh, but I wasn't able to transfer any IOTA into the wallet because uh, the Binance exchange had withdrawals disabled. So now that uh, I just checked and they've got withdrawals enabled now, I can withdraw the uh, money from the cryptocurrency exchange. I'm going to do a video to demonstrate how you move things around. Okay, so, uh, but before I do so, I think uh, people that are just joining me, I'm going to go through quickly, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to quickly go through the download and installation of the IOTA wallet and the generation of the seed. So, uh, let's go over here to the IOTA website. It's a pretty cool website. I like the way it kind of has a little presentation here at the beginning. Okay, so uh, you just go down here over to the side to this last little tick and it'll just take you all the way down to the bottom of the, the uh, web page. You want to go down here to get started and download GUI. And it's going to direct you over to their uh, GitHub site. Alright, and you'll see here that the uh, IOTA wallet is, uh, there's several versions of it. We're going to use the Windows version today. Okay, so uh, when we go to download, I just click here. I get a dialog that asks me where I want to drop this thing. So we're going to go over here to software. I have a software folder, folder on my data drive where I like to store things. Don't get too hung up where I store things. You can drop this right on your desktop if you want, right? I like to keep things organized. I'm going to create a folder called IOTA. I'm going to open that up and just drop the installer down in there. Now, uh, a lot of people uh, don't do this uh, verification step, so you're welcome to uh, skip ahead a little bit in the video if you want to skip this part, but I feel it's very important to verify the integrity of your download. I mean, we're talking about money here, right? And people are always worried about hackers. This is one of your tools to determine whether you have uh, the proper downloaded file that was provided by the developer. So uh, that's what a SHA sum does. It verifies the integrity of the download. So uh, I've got the Windows version, so I'm going to be comparing my hash to this. This is the hash that they generated on their end. So after I download the installer, I'm going to generate the hash based on that installer file that I have, and it should match this one. Pretty simple. All right, so I have an MD5 uh, SHA sum checker. I just go to Browse and I find that software folder and my IOTA folder and the installer. There it is right there. I'm going to generate a hash from that file and uh, there's my SHA-256 hash, right? Is it similar to the one that they have? Yes, A38F7. Okay, but I'm just going to copy this into my clipboard and paste it into the uh, hash down here and click verify and there we've matched our hash. It took me like a minute and a half, okay? So once you get this down, it doesn't take you that long. And now I feel more confident that I have the right installer, okay? So now we're gonna run the installer. We'll just go up here uh, to the IOTA folder and run that installer. We're gonna install the IOTA wallet on our computer. Okay, so there are two ways to run this wallet. There's the light node and the full node. Uh, I'm going to suggest the light node wallet because uh, running a full node requires a dedicated IP address. And uh, that's a bit technical uh, for most people uh, to get that going. Uh, suffice it to say, it's a little more technical to run the full node. Okay, but you switch it here. Yeah, I can switch to full node, but I need a dedicated IP address for that. So we're not going to run the full node today. Now, we need a seed. And this is the step that I've been taking all kinds of smack from, uh, from people online uh, that are commenting on my previous videos. 
don't use an online seed generator. You're not doing the seed generation right. You're, you're not storing it properly. You're not doing the, okay. I get it, okay? So I'm gonna show you a way to generate the seed which I feel is the most secure way to generate the seed. Now, you'll wanna go back behind your computer and unplug the network cable. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're not connected to the internet when you do this, all right? This is super secure seed generation, guys. I'm gonna go over here to my network settings, to network sharing. I'm gonna go over to my uh, adapter settings and I'm gonna disable both of my network adapters. I have two network adapters. All right, so there we go. As you can see, I now have, did it disable? I guess it was, okay. So now you can see quite clearly down here that I have no internet connection and I have no wireless connection. If you're using a laptop, you might want to log out from your wireless network so that you're not connected to the internet at all. Okay, not connected, okay? So how are we gonna uh, generate this seed? We're gonna use a program called KeePass. Very simple to use. Okay, just head over to KeePass and get the latest version. I'm going to create a, uh, a link down in the description. Oh, I can't go to it now because I'm offline. We'll uh, cut and paste that back into the video. All right, now uh, I have to enter my password to get access to this. So when you uh, install this program and set it up, all right. So uh, I can generate a, uh, it's telling me it can't connect obviously because we're not connected to the internet. So I'm gonna put this one away here. Let's do a new one, okay? So we're gonna go to add key entry and I'm gonna call this demo seed or demo iota seed. You can call it whatever you want. All right, and we need to generate an 81 character seed. Now, the character set is important for iota. They want you to use an 81 character seed. That's the most secure way to do the seed. All right, so we wanna change this from 20 to 81. All right, and it has to be uppercase only and only the digit nine. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna untick lowercase, we're gonna untick digits, and we're just gonna use uppercase. But we're also going to include the digit nine. And we'll click okay and bam, there we go. We have generated a seed. Now uh, we can look at it here and we can see, I know it's a little hard to see here, but it's only uppercase and there's an occasional digit nine interspersed in there. So there is your key, okay? It's a beautiful key. Now, when you uh, want to uh, sign into your wallet, you can just do this little business here. We can copy the password into the clipboard and use it to paste in to the iota seed so i know there's a lot of paranoid people out there they'll probably generate this seed with key pass and maybe write it down on a piece of paper and type it in by hand every time you're well you're welcome to do that i'm not going to do that okay i don't have the time to type in an 81 character seed i'm just going to use key pass okay and i'm going to go back online again okay so that's a security risk for some people too but i'm just going to do my cut and paste thing not going to do that uh, whole key pass thing. All right, so I'm going to go reconnect myself to the internet. If I can figure it out. So this is a quick and easy way to uh, disconnect and reconnect to the internet without having to uh, reach around behind the computer and unplug the cable. That's a bit of a pain for me. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. All right. So I have a motherboard that's got two network connectors on it. Okay. So now we're back connected to the internet again. So let's log into our uh, IOTA wallet. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just relaunch it. Now, like I said, we can use KeePass to uh, log ourselves in. Uh, 
you know, people say, oh, hackers are looking at your computer or whatever, so they want to do it by hand. Okay, fine. But I think the easiest way is to just copy this password and just drop it in there. Bam. All right? And we can log in. And bam, there we go. We have access to the wallet. Now you'll want to save this seed uh, and and uh, use it every time you log in because this is what makes the wallet unique. So if I log in with a different seed, same wallet software, but a uh, different account, right? So we want to log into this uh, using the same seed every time because if uh, we change seeds, then we're not going to the balance isn't going to read properly. All right. So your balance will be tied to the seed that you used to log in. Oh wow. Well. All right, now uh, we need to put some uh, IOTA in this wallet, right? Let's get this baby going. All right, so I'm going to go over here. Uh, I have some IOTA in my Binance account, and uh, it's been uh, withdrawals have been disabled on it for quite some time, ever since I uh, deposited it. I'm just going to go ahead and withdraw all the IOTA I have in here. I have 73 IOTA in here, right? So I'm just going to choose Withdraw, and it wants the address, okay? So here's my IOTA wallet. I'm going to do a okay I'm gonna do a receive so we just click over here on receive and uh, there's the iota address I'm not using a phone app I'm using a web app so I'm just gonna uh, copy this there I just click on it once and it says copy to clipboard and I just paste it in on my Binance account and it's in there and I'm gonna send the max well okay uh, I'm just going to send a few, right? Uh, just so we uh, know that the uh, the uh, transfer is going to work. That is my suggestion. Uh, I was just going to throw caution to the wind and send it all over there, but I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, now you'll notice they're going to charge me a half an iota for this. <laughs> so I'm only going to get 2.5, but that's okay. Let's, uh, let's just, uh, for the sake of argument, let's just go ahead and submit this transaction. I have to withdraw at least 10. Oh, they got me. All right. Uh, so I guess I should do 11, right? Okay. All right. So uh, they've got some limitations here. I can deal with it. Uh, we're going to hit submit. And it wants my Google Authenticator code because I have Google uh, two-factor authentication set up on my Binance account. If you do not have two-factor authentication set up on your Binance or your Bittrex, or your Poloniex, or your Coinbase, my God, please set up two-factor authentication. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> if you don't know how to do it, I have some pretty good videos on how you uh, set up two-factor authentication with Google Authenticator. Please do it. All right, so I'll just go down here to my Binance code. I'm going to enter that little guy in here. And this code uh, changes every 10 to 15 seconds. It's very secure. Now it wants me to uh, verify with the email and you want to check the email in the same browser on a different tab. You know, if you go to your phone and check the email, you never know what's going to happen. So uh, where am I here? Let's go to Gmail. And there it is. There's my uh, request. I'm going to confirm that. And it says that I've uh, done it. All right, so I have a IOTA wallet withdrawal pending right now uh, of 10.5 IOTA. And uh, let's see how long it takes for Binance to process this transaction. Okay, so uh, it just came into the IOTA wallet. Let's take a look over here at Binance. I had just uh, refreshed. Still says it's processing on Binance, but uh, the IOTA is showing the balance. Uh, and uh, of course it's reading as Mega IOTA. Uh, let's look at history and see what it says. Uh, it, sh it shows that it's confirmed on this end. Uh, I generally get an email from Binance to let me know that a withdrawal has completed. Uh, so, And I haven't received that yet, but I do see it in the wallet over here. Let's see if that, I don't know what that does. So uh, there we have it. Uh, the transfer is complete as far as I can see. 
Uh, so that's basically it. It's very similar to just about any other kind of cryptocurrency transfer. Uh, you just put in the receiving address in your uh, sending and uh, it goes to the place you send it. Okay guys, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you subscribe and wish to be alerted for all my video posts, there's a little bell you can click next to the subscribe button. So uh, thanks again for watching uh, and have a great day.